So we are slipping and sliding into another chat with the Niagara Falls Mayor, Tim Diodati, who had a slippery time arriving at his brother's place a couple weeks back. <laughs> Woo, that doorbell camera was able to capture it, and luckily it didn't go. Woo. No. And if you see my right hand, I've got a, I've got a, a jar from uh, the dairy in, uh, in yeah. Hamilton, the, the eggnog, which I did not drop because <laughs> there was a deposit. Yeah. Well, you could have sued if yeah, you well, did go. You know what? That's my brother's porch. So uh, <laughs> I'm still thinking about it. I haven't made a total decision. Depends what I get for my birthday. <laughs> good. Uh, good, to, good to see Oh, nice jacket. Oh, you like good that? Val Valentine's well, Day? Well, look, I'm trying to keep with yeah. this theme, and I uh, see you didn't care. No, well, that's because tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Yeah, but I'm Day here today, part. Tim. Yeah, I'm not right. here that's tomorrow. That's my job to get the oh, yeah, make ready those, to go. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's start property oh, taxes. You can I, just before you do, okay. uh, knock, knock. All right. You have to oh, knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Yo lady. Yo lady who? <laughs> Brian, you like that one? Yeah. We got a yodeler. <laughs> yo lady who? <laughs> You gotta come up on the oh, Yo lady, hoo hoo. <laughs> yo lady, hoo hoo. good guy, this guy. Okay, um, let's start. Property taxes, that's a big topic. But like similar to St. Catharines and Matt Cisco, yeah. you guys are looking okay when it comes to property taxes. Yeah, we came in at uh, 3.95. Right. Uh, and it's always our objective uh, to come in around the rate of inflation. You know, and here's the problem people will say, well, you know, my, my groceries went up, my gas went up, this went up. We, same with the municipality. Our asphalt goes up, our gas goes up, our wages go up. And if you don't keep up with inflation, you lose. And then you have a choice. You either raise uh, taxes or you cut services. And no one wants to get services cut either. So you walk that fine line. Last year we had a bigger increase. Right. Also inflation was a lot higher last year. For a lot of municipalities, there was a correction year coming out of COVID. For us, last year was our correction year. Now going forward, we expect to always be at or about the rate of inflation. It's a responsible place to be, and it's uh, the style that we, tr we choose in Niagara Falls. You brought some glasses with you. Yeah. So these are Eclipse glasses, Tim. Okay. And um, we well, you, recommend... You, you can't see it. <laughs> no. No, it's better. This way you don't have to look at me anymore. <laughs> this is better. So the Eclipse is going to be on April the 8th, Tim. Yeah. April the 8th. Uh, Niagara Falls is going to be what they call the Path of Totality. We're going to have NASA there, the Canadian Space Agency. We're going to break a Guinness World Record. Uh, they're expecting... We're told... I have to take these off because I yeah. can't see anything. <laughs> we're, uh, we are told... To expect, we've got a major U.S. documentary company that travels and follows these events. Expect eight to nine times the amount of people you've ever had at your biggest event. Our biggest event was Nick Walenda. We had about 130,000 people in person that day as he walked across the falls on a tightrope in 2012. So do the math. That puts us at a million people at one time which wow. there's, there, I don't know how, I want to tell people there's two aspects. Yeah. One is safety, yeah. so we've got our fire and our police and our ambulance, they're all working closely together to make sure everybody's safe, you can get to people and you can give them the services they need, but they said expect your highways will be full, parking lots, your hotel, everything's gonna be full. Then there's the entertainment aspect. We're gonna have so many people that we're working closely with the Niagara Parks Commission. Yeah. These glasses, by the way, Niagara are Parks. compliments of David and Dames at the Niagara Parks Commission. Morning, David. David's a great guy and yeah. he, he brought these, or gave these for us. And, uh, we're telling people, uh, and that's part of the safety side, on the entertainment side, we're going to have entertainment because we don't want all these masses of people to leave at the same time. Yeah. So we'll give them a reason to hang out, to have an event. Because it's a long weekend too. It's a Monday. And that's when the kids are off because yes. of the timing of it. It's going to be in the middle of the afternoon when the kids are getting out of school. So yes. the timing's off. Um, okay, we got one more to talk yeah. about that. We don't have time. Hospital Gala. Yes. That somebody special is hosting. Yours truly right here, Tim Bolin. <laughs> And there's no pressure. Last year we raised about a half a million dollars. Yeah, Tim. I heard. So, I heard the the MC just went on and on and on and on. <laughs> he did <laughs> until they wrote big checks, and then he stopped talking. <laughs> Guilty. I've uh, been called loquacious before. <laughs> so that's uh, coming up next Saturday, uh, February the 24th. So it's a hustle for health care gala. So it's disco. Disco. Right. So do you have your disco outfit? I have, I have pieces of my disco outfit together. I have to put some more accessories together I to get cannot. it all ready to and go. Do you got some Danny Terrio moves ready yeah, to go? Yeah, so I've been working on those moves. My lovely wife, Elizabeth, is going to come too. And she's like, we're dressing as what? So that was a gala. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, yeah, you're going to wear this. It's so, going to be fun. Okay. It's for Niagara Health, for our, our hospital foundation. It's the big fundraiser of the year. It's a sold-out event. Yeah. As soon as we announced who the host was, 
Boom, sold yeah, out instantly. Right. People are hawking tickets. I mean, nobody can get. It's the hottest ticket in town. Who wants a ticket? Hey, I got a ticket. I got a ticket. I got some ends. Okay, we got to go, but we have, we have one special announcement for mom and dad. Yeah, mom and dad, today is their anniversary. No way. So, yeah, dad, you Lance Romance, you know, getting married <laughs> right at Valentine's. You're unbelievable. How many years? Uh, it's been 59, 59 years. 59 wow, years. 59 years. Wow, there's. Oh, yeah. there they are right there. Yeah. Wonderful. Congratulations. So, next year's the big one. Next okay. year's the big one, yeah. All right, we didn't get to everything, but we'll have you back on next month and uh, more on the Eclipse event planning because that's that's coming. That's the big thing you guys got going on. Yes. Okay. And this weekend's the opening of our exchange, Arts and Culture Center. Okay. So get me back to talk about nice. it. Nice. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you next month. Happy we'll see Valentine's. You, we'll, see, we'll see you next Saturday. Happy Valentine's. How about a smooch? Mm. Let's do <laughs> Air smooch. Air smooch. <laughs>